My name is Johan Dutoy and I am the co-owner of Champole Wilderness and Champole Hyde. We've always wanted to have a hide in the area. Having said that, my wife, as she was doing all her research, studying grasses and the whole ecosystem, we got to know an area that didn't have much grass on it and wasn't being utilized by the Maasai either. So it seemed a very win-win situation. We didn't want to take an area that was going to have a lot of grass and stop Maasai from using the grass. Welcome into the hide. Brand new hide here down in Shampole and we are extra mega excited to show you guys around. Here's our toilets. Cool, we've got bean, um, bed books here, lots of bean bags, 270 degree view all the way around the, the hide. Lots of gimbals and into our lighting system which is different to lots of other hides. We've got dimmer switches so you can customize your whole lighting system if, depending on what you like. We've got backlighting as well which is great. Um, around here lots of bean bags, gimbals, beautiful view out to the west when the animals come in, light um, backlighting. And into here, sleeping bags in case you get cold here, but we've got all of our solar air system in here. Batteries under the beds. All these beds are, um, we can move them out the way if you want to. So mind the mess, we've just had breakfast and we are really, really excited to hosting you guys in the hide. We would get to the hide for about 4.30 and open it up and we'll get ourselves organized for the evening shoot, the late afternoon shoot, where we're expecting zebras, wildebeests, lots of birds and dust and the nice, beautiful golden light. As the evening progresses, we then have a simple dinner. We then look forward to the predators. So during the night we have a cool box with drinks, lots of snacks, lots of coffee and we work through until sunrise. The ideal number of people in the hide would be four photographers and a photo host. For the few hours after sunrise, we then have a second session where we have lots of birds coming in, lots of the plains game coming in again. This time we have the sun coming up in the east, different lighting, different angles. Once we're done with that, we then head back to camp for a breakfast or brunch. <laughs> 